Hey guys, this is Panther from Task Force Weasel. I'm here today to bring you a quick video update on what's going on with my personal kit. Um, to start off with, I run a LBT 6094A slick and multicam. Um, on the left hand side, I have a US Tactical Sewing uh, 33 ounce or the 1 liter hydration pouch in AR1. Um, you can see that I also have my source bladder running out um, from inside there. Uh, on the right hand side I have a Ferro Concepts dual slap charge pouch in AOR1. Now this is the real AOR1 uh, cry pattern fabric. This is not Desert Digital because as you guys probably know uh, he has started to make all of his new uh, like desert colored pouches in that Desert Digital pattern. Uh, my plans for this particular rig is to get a multicam front uh, salt panel from Toy Soldier and then on front of that I will be running uh, Air One mag pouches and a radio pouch and then I'm also getting a new medical setup, med medical pouch setup, excuse me. Um, for my helmet I have a new Emerson uh, Fast Ballistic. Now I got this off eBay for $72 shipped which I thought was a great deal. Um, I started off with a uh, Krylon khaki base coat, um, got rid of that kind of dull brown, sh or that, excuse me, that shiny brown uh, finish that comes from China. Uh, also, on the right-hand side, I have my Amflag patch, a blue Element V-Lite. Um, on the rear, I have an AR-01 helmet counterweight pouch, but I'm missing some Velcro, so it's still a little bit loose. On the right-hand side, I have my call sign patch, which is PW2, and then on the top, I have an MS-2000. Um, now, I have a quick question for you guys. I'm planning on running a uh, replica uh, night vision setup, so my question to you is, should I run... Uh, PVS 15s or 18s uh, because I've already decided on my arm which is going to be the replica Neurotos INVG arm. Um, lastly this is my SR7 it's uh, currently in a Mod O configuration, Mark 18 Mod O configuration. Um, my plan for this particular rifle is I'm going to replace the Comp M2 with a Spectre DR and possibly um, add a KEC suppressor on the front end and a longer inner barrel to make this gun a little bit more uh, suitable for field play. Um, so if you guys have any comments, any suggestions, uh, any questions, uh, feel free to either PM us on the YouTube channel, leave a comment, or check out our Facebook and Twitter pages. Um, thank you very much for your time, and I hope you guys uh, hope to see you guys out on the airsoft field.